Good day, and welcome to Math 111H, Calculus One Honors at NJIT. For our first class, you'll need to browse Chapter 1 of the text. Please be prepared to ask any questions you have on this material. This material should be a review for you. We'll quickly go through this material during the first class or so, but you really should review it beforehand so that you're up to date and ready to go. We'll also be starting with the discussion of the principle of mathematical induction. The principle of mathematical induction says that if a proposition is true for the number n equals 1, and if it can be shown that if the proposition is true for one value, call it n, th that it will also be true for the next value, n plus 1, then the proposition is true for all natural numbers. So if you know that a proposition is true for a certain number and you can always you could and if you can show that for any number it will be true that if it's true for that number it'll be true for the next then it will have to be true for all the numbers that follow. Math induction can be used to prove a number of things uh, that will come up in Calc 1 and Calc 2. Those include that the sum of the first n whole numbers is e the sum of the numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc up to n is equal to th that final number n times the next number n plus 1 divided by 2 can also be used to show that 7 to the n where n is the numbers 1 2 3 etc minus 1 is divisible by 6 and it could also be used to show that the sum of the first n odd whole numbers is equal to n squared. So for example, the numbers 1 plus 3 plus 5, the first three odd numbers, sum up to 9, which is 3 squared. We'll demonstrate how to prove these and other propositions using mathematical induction. Thank you for joining us today. Have a great day, and may the power of math be with you.